Patrick, I should just start by taking us kind of through that last play there in overtime and just how, how good does this one feel compared to maybe the, uh, the one the other night? Yeah, it still felt good. Um, kind of got the puck from Z and I was thinking about keeping it and going to the neutral zone, but then I just realized they had a long shift, so might as well try something and got past the guy and just tried to shoot it and our goalie coach told me to go low blocker, so that's where I went and went in. Um, on the uh, the power play goal, a uh, couple times I already we've we've seen you know you and uh, Voracek I believe and, and Wierenski kind of flip positions. You know we've talked about that before. I mean that's probably something we're going to see all season with you guys just to kind of keep it keep teams guessing a little bit. Yeah, I mean it, I think that's what the power play is all about. You know, try not to be um, so easy to you know judge what we're going to do. Um, I think it's great that those two can switch up a little bit and try to confuse them a little bit and uh, it seemed to work work at the last last goal I think well we had some chances before but just didn't go in but um, happy to get that one goal Patrick did you did you say it was Manny legacy that told you to shoot low blocker yeah. does three on three give you a little, all the space out there more time to think about that kind of stuff where, you, where you've got open shots and maybe some time to break down the goalie a little bit Mm, no, not really. Like I had it in my mind before I even got the puck. I, I knew where I was going to go with it, so I didn't even have to uh, have to look at the net. I, I knew where I was going to try to shoot it, and um, apparently that was his weakness, like like he told me, and uh, you know seemed to be working. So just seemed to be a lot of excitement among the team for Cole scoring his first NHL goal. I mean, just how cool is it to kind of see that moment and see the excitement out of a kid like that? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, I've I've been there too. You know, I scored my first goal, and it it definitely feels good. Um, so hopefully, hopefully he's gonna get a bunch of more, and he's he's played really well these first four games. So just uh, excited to see what the future holds for uh, for Cole. Patrick, this is your fourth career overtime goal. You've scored a ton of goals in this league. Uh, are you starting to figure out stuff in three on three play at this point in your career that that maybe maybe it's just ice time that didn't come as naturally to you before? Yeah, I think just getting getting a little bit more chances and you're obviously learning as, as you go, but uh, you know, it's not it's not like the first time I played the overtime, you know, it's not not my first time, so um, but yeah, just obviously there's more room and there's more more time for uh, you know, little plays that you can make out there and uh, yeah, hopefully get a, get a couple more. Uh, we're not even five games into 82 yet, obviously, but to start three and one at this point and get a big win against the Islanders, what's it do for you guys, you know, in that locker room at this point, kind of going forward? Yeah, I think it just gives us confidence. I think, you know, they have a really good team out there. You know, they're always in the conversation for the for the Stanley Cup, so it's not it's not an everyday thing where you just you know beat up that kind of team. So. It definitely feels good, and uh, but you know, just try to try to build some confidence and go from here. But it's uh, it would be more fun to be four and zero, but uh, we'll we'll take three and one. Sweet.